Hey guys, so I'm gonna go over the practice exam sentences. Um, so the first one, cum Cleomenes fugisset, keteri securti sunt. Um, so this is a cum clause construction with a pluperfect subjunctive. We have cum fugisset. Remember, pluperfect subjunctives will have that isse in there always. Um, and then, um, yeah, so we have cum Cleomenes fugisit, when Cleomenes had fled, Keteri, the rest, secuti sunt, followed. So the secuti sunt is a perfect um, deponent, uh, so secor is a deponent to follow. So this uh, looks like a perfect passive, you have the participle form secuti, which is nominative masculine plural, agreeing with keteri. Um, and then the third plural uh, form of sum. So perfect deponent, the rest followed. Um, yeah, so when Cleomenes had fled, the rest followed. Um, <clears throat> notice with that one, we have secondary sequence, which is why we have the pluperfect in the cum clause, the subordinate clause, because we have the perfect tense in the main clause. All right, and that's grammar for E if you want to review that. Um, on the final exam, there will be questions from 4E forward through um, 5C, which is where we got to. Um, if you are planning to take 51, um, the professor, uh, Penny Evans, will uh, be starting from where we left off this semester. So no need to worry about trying to catch up. Um, all right, next question um, from Grammar 4F. Um, Cerulius, verum orat ne se caidat newe neket. So this is a indirect, uh, indirect command um, so remember, indirect commands have the uh, the command verb. The options are horator, I urge, oror, I beg, um, impero, I give orders, persuadeo, I persuade, um, peto, I beg, postulo, I demand, rogo, I ask. Those can all introduce incorrect, indirect commands with an ut and then a subjunctive. So here, ut or ne. So if it's positive, ut. If it's negative, ne. Um, so here we have Servilius orat verum. Servilius begs, varies. For varies is the direct object. Servilius is the subject. Um, and then the ne introduces the indirect question, in, indirect command. Um, and then we have two sets, so we have ne kaidat and newe, which is, um, the we is like an or, um, so we have another ne introducing a second indirect command, neket is our, um, subjunctive. So these are both present subjunctives, kaidat is, um, third conjugation, so remember our, our mnemonic device, we fear a liar for first conjugation, verbs. Um, you change the theme bell from an A to an E for present subjunctives. For second conjugation verbs, you change the E to an EA. For third conjugation, you change the theme bell to an A. And for fourth conjugation, you change the theme bell to an IA. Um, so kaidat is third, so we have the A there to indicate present subjunctive. Um, and then neket um, neko nakare is first conjugation, so we have the e there that tells us this is a present subjunctive. Um, these are present subjunctive because we are in primary sequence, because orat is present tense, indicative, for our main verb. Um, so we have servilius, begs, varies, um, not to, um, flog him. And the say there is reflexive, so that's pointing all the way back to our subject, Servilius. Servilius begs varies not to flog him. That say is accusative, not to flog him. 
nor, that's the now way, nor naked, nor to kill him. All right. Um, next grammar section is 4G. So we have for this section sentence C si weri egnoscamus stultesimus. This is a conditional. Um, so in 4G, we learn several types of conditionals. Um, and conditionals are just if then types of sentences. So the if part is called a protasis, the then part is called the apotesis. Um, so with subjunctives, um, yeah, we use should and would for present subjunctives in the conditions, um, which is what this one is. We have both present subjunctive, um, inoskamos and simus. Um, and if it were imperfect subjunctive, for example, on page 212, they have si pater ad esit, quid dicerit, you would translate it, if the father were now here, what would he now be saying? Um, so imperfect subjunctives show like a possibility for right now, and present subjunctives show a possibility for the future, which is what this one is. Um, if we pardon, if we should pardon, varies. Um, the verb um, ignosco takes a dative, that's why weri is dative, um, because uh, the name varies is third con uh, third declension. Um, so if we part, if we should pardon varies, um, simos is the irregular subjunctive for sum, so sum s s, sum s s sum to the indicative, I am the verb to be. Um, in the subjunctive, it's sem sis sit, semos sitis sunt, uh, simus sent. Um, so this is the subjunctive first person plural. Um, if we should pardon berries, we would be stulti, we would be fools. Um, and stulti is nominative plural masculine to agree with the first person plural subject. Okay. Um... Next section for H, um, this one is a result clause. Um, so 4H had result clauses uh, as well as purpose clauses. Um, purpose clauses are the ones that ut or ne introduces in, in order that or so that. Um, but result clauses, um, the, fir the main clause has to have a so word, so that can be like Tom, Ad eo, ad eo means to such an extent, seek or ita, which mean in such a way, tantus, which is so great, um, and tot, which is so many, and talis, which is of such a kind. So all of those in the main clause, followed by an ut and a subjunctive, are result clauses. Um, and we don't use ne with, uh, with result clauses. If it's negative, it's ut non. Um, not nay. Purpose clauses do use nay for negative purpose clauses. Okay, so this example sentence we have Whereas tam malus est ut deorum imagines e fanis convelere audeat. Varies is so bad, um, tam malus, that um, he dares, audeat is the present subjunctive of audeo, audere, which is second conjugation, so we fear a liar, the e changes to an ea. Varies is so bad that he dares convelere to tear away. Imagines is our direct object, accusative plural. The, the um, statues, deorum, is genitive plural describing the statues, the statues of the gods. A fanis is a prepositional phrase from the shrines. Um, fanis is ablative because it's in the prepositional phrase with e or x, which takes the ablative. So varies is so bad that he dares to tear away the uh, statues of the gods from the shrines. Okay. 
next section for um ah still on 4h so um there are purpose clauses next which we don't have an example in the um, exam but purpose clauses um do we not have an example no okay uh, so I'll just read through this one example in the book. Hoc facet ut benignus sit. He is doing this in order to be kind. Um, that's primary sequence, present, subjunctive. Um, and then secondary sequence, hoc facet ne miser esset. He did this in order not to be unhappy. Um, so uter ne plus subjunctive purpose clause. Um, all right, and the next part of 4-H was gerundives. So remember, gerundives um, are formed um, with this undus, unda, undum ending, um, and they are adjectives, um, and they are translated to be whatevered, um, so as a passive um, thing. This is where we get the name Amanda, she who must be loved, to be loved. Um, so... Gerundives can indicate necessity, which is why Amanda means she who must be loved. Um, the word agenda in English is from ago agere. It's the gerundive um, neuter plural. Things that must be done. Agenda. Um, things to be done. A to-do list, right? Um, so there are several constructions with the gerundive. Um, just the adjective can... Um, indicate purpose so the example in the book so escape it nos educandos he took us to be educated um so the to be there is not like the infinitive in latin um so in english it sounds like an infinitive to be educated but in latin that would be a gerundive right um so our example sentence for this one uses the construction with odd plus the accusative to show purpose, um, so Cicero ad verum accusandum dixit, Cicero spoke ad verum accusandum for varies needing to be accused. Um, and so remember, these are passive in Latin, so accusandum is agreeing with varies, um, but really the action is um, being done by Cicero. So we would make this into better English um, by saying, by making it kind of a purpose thing. So Cicero spoke to accuse varies. So the ad verum accusandum most literally is um, for varies uh, to be accused. Um, but Cicero spoke to accuse varies. Um, okay, next section, 5b. Um, we skipped 5a because it's just the historic infinitive and ablative of respect. Um, be able to recognize those for the final. Um, Alright, um, so the example for 5b, we did the purpose clause with quo plus the comparative and subjunctive. Um, so this example, hoc facet quo colerius perveniret. Um, so this is secondary sequence because we have the perfect main verb, facet. Um, so we use the imperfect subjunctive, perveniret. Um, hoc facet, he did this, quo colerius perveniret, in order to arrive more swiftly. So Quo um, plus the subjunctive and the comparative adverb calarius indicates purpose. He did this in order to arrive more swiftly. Um, okay, last section, 5c. Um, we had just sub subjunctives, which are commands. Um, so in the first person, audiamos, let us hear. Second person, akipias, akipias. Um, please welcome, or welcome is a command. Third person, fiat, let there be, let it be. Um, the example we gave you is a deliberative subjunctive. Quid ego faciam, 
Mariam out Abeam. What should I do? Should I stay or should I go? So deliberative is basically just adjustive in a question. Um, right. And that's pretty straightforward. Those are just present subjunctives. Um, Fakio, fakere is a third, fourth conjugation. So in the we fear a liar, um, the vowel changes to an IA, and then you get the personal ending M, so that's first person singular. Present subjunctive, um, these are all first person singular present subjunctives. Maneam, that's second conjugation. Um, and then abeam um, is from et o, ere. Um, so that is a uh, third. Okay, and yeah, so for the exam, it is open book, um, and it will be like this practice exam. <laughs> um, so email me with any questions. Please use this week to catch up on any missing work, um, if you have any, and if you don't, um, then uh, you're free to study for the exam, catch up in other classes. Um, yeah, Alice and I just decided it was better to um, ease up because everyone is struggling at this time. So um, hopefully y'all are doing okay. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about the final.